Welcome to Wet Lecture Online. Now here's a really good example that utilizes what we've learned in the previous several videos. Here we're trying to find the value for x. What is the angle right here? What is the measure of angle a, so to speak? So another word to think about it is we're trying to find the measure of angle a. And how do we go about doing that? Well, we have learned that the angle subtended here from B, C, D must equal the arc of the, the measure of the intercepted arc. So what we can say here is that the measure of angle B, C, D must equal the measure of arc B, D. And that's how we write that. Okay, so therefore we note that that is equal to 130 degrees. The next thing we can do is realize that we go from B to C to D and back to A and then back to D uh, to B. This here, that is a quadrilateral, which means it has four sides. It has four angles. And what we saw in the previous video was that the sum of the angles of quadrila quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. So we know that the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure, oh, I forgot my M there, plus the measure of angle C plus the measure of angle D must add up to 360 degrees. Which means that measure of angle A, which is x degrees, plus the measure of angle B, which must be 90 degrees, because that's what the symbol says, which indicates that the line AB must be tangent to the circle, and the line AD must be tangent to the circle, because we can see here that they are perpendicular, uh, they make an angle that's, uh, that's essentially a 90 degree angle with the radius of the circle. All right, so therefore this must be 90 degrees, here we determined that this must be 130 degrees and this here must be also 90 degrees. That uh, adds up to 360 degrees. Now, when we subtract these two from that, we get 180, subtract 130, we get x sub naught is equal to 180, 30, 50 degrees. I have to think about it for a moment. So therefore, x equals 50. And that is how it's done.